Good afternoon year one. I hope you're all well. Today I am back with another lesson and this lesson is all about being ambitious. Now we know that one of our Victoria's core values is all about being ambitious and there's three more after that value and we will be looking at all of these values in the next few days. So let's get started. Now before I tell you what the definition of ambitious is or ambition, you have got two pictures on this slide. I'd like you to pause the video have a look at the pictures and think about what you think the word ambition or being ambitious means. So pause the video now, take a close look at the pictures, have a think of what you think the word means. And once you've got an answer, I'd like you to share it with your magic pencil. Good job, year one. You shared some amazing answers with your pencil. Now let's have a look at the definition. So the definition of being ambitious is to possess a desire for success. So that means it's when you really, really want something and you want to work really hard for it. So for example, we've got this little boy here and he's very petite and he really wants to work hard to become strong and get lots of muscles. And that's just one example. And I could also share another example where I know that each and every one of you at home, even at school, work extremely hard in no matter what subject that is. So when you're working really hard in maths, phonics, writing, spellings, Anything that you do, you know that you want to be really successful in it, that is being ambitious, that is showing that you are very ambitious. Now we're going to take a closer look at a real life person who showed so much ambition and has so much passion in what she does. And this person's name is Ellie Simmons. Can you repeat that with me? Ellie Simmons. Ellie Simmons. Now here is Ellie Simmons. Now she is a Paralympian and unfortunately Ellie Simmons was diagnosed with a disorder called achondroplasia. People with this disorder unfortunately they stay quite small and they don't grow as much but this did not stop Ellie Simmons in accomplishing her dreams and she always wanted to be this fast swimmer and only at the age of 14 she became the fastest swimmer ever and she has won so many gold medals within the last couple of years. So Ellie Simmons is very inspirational and she has shown so much ambition and passion in the last couple of years. So what I'd like you to do now is pause the video and just repeat this little story about Ellie Simmons or what you've learned about her to your magic pencil. Now it is time for a story. Let's see how this character in this story was being ambitious and was ready to do anything to be able to achieve his goals. And some of you might already have read this story in school and it's one of my favourite books and this story book is called After the Fall. Now whilst I'm reading this story children, I'd like you to think about ways in which this character was shown that he's really ambitious. So let's get started. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favourite spot high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I love being close to all the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's horses and men put me back together again. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with the bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favourite things. So we can see in this picture that Humpty Dumpty, he loved to have different types of cereals. But because he was now scared of heights, he would not climb on the ladder to reach out to those. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day an idea flew by. So whilst he was watching the birds, he saw an idea that flew by. There it is. Yeah. 
Making planes was harder than he thought. It was easy to get cuts and scraps. But day after day, I kept trying and trying and trying. So here he's being very ambitious because he's not giving up. Until I got it just right. So once he kept trying and trying, look what happened children. He finally made an amazing paper aeroplane, which is like a bird. The plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt this happy in such a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents did happen. What do you think happened to the paper aeroplane? What do you think happened to it? Pause the video and share your answers with your magic pencil. And then we're going to find out what actually happened. They always do. So what happened, children? The paper bird that he made fell behind the big great wall. And there's Humpty Dumpty trying to look at where the paper aeroplane has gone. And it's gone behind the wall now. What do you think he should do? What would you do if you were in his situation? Pause the video, have a think. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I would miss out on. I decided that I was going to climb the wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time until I was no longer afraid. Maybe now you won't think of me as the egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully you'll remember me as the egg who got back up and learned how to fly. So children, what did this egg do then in the end? He didn't give up. He was very passionate that he would go over the wall and he didn't look up, he didn't look down, he just kept climbing and climbing and climbing, which meant that finally he could go over the wall. And when he got back up at the wall, what happened? Tell your magic pencil what had happened. He became into a beautiful looking bird and he broke free and learned how to fly. Now that is the end of that story. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I hope you all learned how Humpty Dumpty was very ambitious. So pause the video now and tell someone in your house or maybe even your magic pencil what your favourite part of the story was. Lovely, that was lovely to hear lots of beautiful answers there. Now to round up this lesson, I am going to finish off with this quote which is at the back of this book and it says, life begins when you get back up. And that is a very inspirational quote because it is very true. So if you are failing in something and you feel like something's getting really hard for me, I can't do my writing today, I'm not understanding the maths with, that does not mean that you just sit down and think, I can't do it. You should not give up. Just like Humpty Dumpty, he tried and tried again, and then he got that paper aeroplane absolutely right. That's how you can do it. Keep trying again and again, don't give up, and you will see how you will succeed. So it's all about being ambitious and passionate in the end. So children, that brings us on to our activity for today. So you have got a sheet here which looks just like this one that I've put up and it's got the word ambitious at the top. Then you've got to tell me what the word ambitious means. So we've been discussing lots on the word ambitious today and then you can write your own definition of what it means to you. Then at the second part of that page you have got a box and in that box I'd like you to draw a picture of a time when you were ambitious. So really think carefully of a time when you have been very ambitious, maybe that has been in school, maybe that has been at home or anywhere you can imagine where you were very ambitious. And once you've got that idea, draw it into the box and don't forget to upload this activity onto Seesaw where me and the other year one teachers can see. And I'm looking forward to see all those beautiful um, pictures. So take care and I will join you for another lesson tomorrow. Bye.